Hello, this is Decimal and welcome to Synth News. Today I want to talk about Barringer's Facebook post about a BX700. It's a groove box and it's what they're saying. It's a DX7 on steroids. It also has a CS80 analog filter, a built-in drum machine, B-Ray, which we don't really know what B-Ray is, and some other features. So it's an FM synthesizer with an analog filter, a drum machine, something called B-Ray, and it's a groove box. In the comments, Baron has replied to some people that this will probably have six voices polyphony, but it's not final yet, and you will be able to recall presets. Let's take a look at the front panel. We can see on the screen it has an algorithm, of course, with the operators 2 from 6. This is very reminiscent of the DX7. On the right-hand side, we can see there's the CS80 analog filter. Above that, we have a volume knob. We also have a tempo, a mixer button, a tap button, which is probably going to be tap tempo, uh, VCF button. Uh, we also have different... Uh, so mixer track mute so we have a synth bass drum one drum two drum three so they did say this is a groove box so that explains why there's drums in it and there's also seems like there's going to be a dedicated synth line and a bass line as well over on the left side is where we have this b-ray honestly i'm not going to comment too much on b-ray because i just don't know but we have clear paste save on and off buttons underneath that we have page um, operator engine program so i think this is more to just like navigate the um the presets or the algorithms or the different uh I, yeah i just think that's going to be more of like a navigation area here and then down below we have pattern setting play record and active buttons as well then we have p1 to p4 knobs which are looks like the control part of the operators for the fm but i'm sure this will be multifunction as well and then down below we have the different keys that are sectioned off i don't know if they're touch sensitive yet why don't we take a look at the back panels we have a both usb and DC in with a power button, which is, uh, th those are good features to have. We have MIDI in, MIDI out. We have sync, clock in and out. We have CV, gate, a sustain pedal, breathe, drums, bass, synth. Uh, something that's already plugged in, the headphone out, mic out, and an attenuator for the mic. Um, oh, when I say mic out, I meant mic in. So an attenuator for the mic in. Wicked. Uh, I can't believe it has CV. That's, uh, that's, that's awesome. And the fact that you can separate each line as well is going to be helpful for mixing. So the fact that you can separate the synth and the bass and the drums. Uh, it seems that there's different drum tra tracks, but they're all going to be grouped into one. Um, so it looks like there was three drum patterns, so they, they'll all come out of that port. Really, really interesting stuff. This is a groove box where it's like, it has a lot of features that people um, would like, especially with the splits out and the, and the fact that it's all in one groove box. It's a uh, you know, DX7 on steroids. Yeah. So what do you guys think of the uh, BX700? Let me know in the comments down below and thank you very much for watching.